executives Flannery and Imelt spoke at a Facebook event earlier today. So just let's have a listen to what Flannery had to say. We've got a, a track record we can be proud of. We've got a window on the future where we're going to be even better. We've got to build on our strengths. We've got to make sure we're also known as an execution company and deliver for all the constituents, including customers and employees, and especially shareholders. They own the company at the end of the day. Uh, and the employees, you know, were, were the vehicle to get there. All right, well, Flannery does have a, you know, a, a great record in the healthcare business, and apparently this was part of the succession planning for a while, Karen. So how long does he get? Clearly, it's his job to move the share price now. Imelt has put all this structural reform in place. How long does he get? Uh, I, I would agree with Brooke that uh, some of the, I, I expect if he doesn't move quickly, that's frustration will build that it is a GE guy. I also don't think that they would bring an outside guy in um, because of culture. Maybe they should, but uh, I, I would not have expected that to happen. Um, I would think they'll give him, a, you know, who knows what the exact timeline is, but they've got to give him some time to sit in the seat, a year, year and a half. But people are impatient. They've waited a long time for something, for GE stock to move. So, Brooke Sutherland, I'm just going to ask you as well, you know, does this depend on the price of oil? I mean, is GE wholly dependent now on things like OPEC and, and uh, you know, U.S. supply and so forth? No, I don't think so. You know, I think obviously the price of oil made Jeff Immelt's job a lot harder. And if we hadn't seen the slump in oil prices, I don't think we would be having this conversation necessarily. I think his earnings targets would have been a lot easier to achieve. It would have helped boost his credibility to hit those. But, you know, GE has taken sort of significant steps to s sort of partition off its oil and gas exposure, actually. By merging their business with Baker Hughes, they've sort of put it at more of an arm's length. And now the question is, do they go a little bit further with that and can Consider, you know, a more definitive separation. But, you know, I think Flannery's job is just to operate the company. I think investors just want to see results. They want to see the company hitting its earnings targets. They want to see it finding organic growth. They want to see it following through on margin improvements and cost cuts. And I think that's really his job here.